All right, good morning and welcome to the vlog. It is Saturday now. When I left my house, it was 98 degrees. I just went to the junkyard and it's down to 85 degrees. And I'm not complaining about the heat drop. What I am complaining about is, uh, is that there. So it's either blistering heat or I have, you know, giant thunderstorms coming. So I'm gonna try and get this done as fast as possible before the rain gets here. Not much. Give me one second, Bubby. One, two. Did you sign in already? Not yet. There's two. two. So in all honesty, yeah, I pretty much picked the worst time to come to the junkyard. But the problem with Florida time in summer is either it's stupid hot and you don't want to do anything, or it's raining and it's pouring. There's really like there's no happy median. I mean, is that as fast as possible I can get out of here and not get stuck and not like hop in a car and hide. All right, so what I'm here for today, don't mind the thunder. I'm here for the Mark 420 intake manifold, top and lower piece of the manifold. This cover, the intake piece over there, and I believe that's all I need to do the swap on my car. Oh, and the valve cover gasket as well. So there's this one here. There's one over there. There's there's literally they're all over the place. So I have pretty much free reign. This one I think here has the. The aluminum intake manifold, uh, well, valve cover gasket, sorry. So I think I'm gonna grab that one off there. I'm gonna grab the cover off of that one. And then, probably not this one. So I'll probably take the intake manifold lower and upper off of this one with the cover and then the valve cover off of this one because this one has the metal one. And then that man down there, right there, his name is Vincent. He owns the Corrado. So I met him. I made a new friend. All right, so after walking up and down the aisle looking through all the Beatles, I'm gonna pull everything off of the black one here. This is a 2004, so this is the newest one. This one's a 98, that one is a 99. The rest are all like 90s and stuff like that, but this one's a 04, so that's definitely the best for me. That's why it has a metal um, valve cover gasket, so I'm gonna pull all stuff off of this one, and then we'll be good to go. Hasn't started raining yet, so fingers crossed. We're doing good. All right, so to briefly explain this, I don't know exactly all of the steps. I'm kind of learning as I go, because I actually pulled a Mark IV 2.0 top off before. But you'll need a T, I think it's a T30 uh, torqued bit for all of these bolts at the top of the intake manifold here. The valve cover gasket is 10 millimeters down there. They go all the way around. And I think the rest of it's just like on pulling hoses off and this and that. I'm going to pull the fuel rail off as well. And then just kind of learn as I go. I'm not sure exactly how this goes, but it shouldn't be too hard to pull off. <laughs> So after a good little while, the top manifold is off. There are two um, bolts in the back that you can't see that are back there. And then there are also two right here that I didn't know about. So there's the one, two, three on the front. And there's two more. You got to go through here and through there. I didn't even see them, but those are a pain in the butt. So five on the front, two in the back. And then you pull the throttle body off all the rest of the lines. And then it is out. All right, so what I'm gonna pull now is the lower intake manifold, the valve cover, and the intake piece off. And then once all that is off, along with the fuel row here, we should be good. And I'm gonna keep this one bracket on this side so the valve cover, the the top piece there, has one piece to click onto. I don't need this one because it has this whole like side bracket thing. So this one will do, and I have this screw piece here to screw the top of it too, so that's what I'm doing now. screws out of this and the thing are disconnected so this should come right out hopefully when I have the project there it is something's catching me back here though oh just that okay this is out get closer all right just about done here let me go ahead and show you what I got I have my 2.0 engine cover I'm gonna go with this one which is the newer one that has the rage uh, polished or chrome badge 
I have the upper intake manifold, the lower intake manifold. I'm keeping the Mark IV fuel rail right there, but I'm not gonna use the Mark IV injectors. Um, I have this plate off the side, and I'm gonna bring this plate as well. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this plate straight down and cut this one on the sides and on here. So I just bolt it up to the front, so I have the two pieces here that hold the engine cover on. I have the metal valve cover right there with the valve cover gasket. I have the like the line tube thing for the dipstick and the mounting piece for that. And I think that's all I need. Oh, the last thing I need is I'm gonna grab the intake, um, this piece here, off of Mark IV 2.0, because it's a little different. The Beetle 2.0 has this extra little tube that I don't need, the Mark IV one doesn't have that, so I'm gonna grab the Mark IV one real quick and then I'll be done. All right, Mark IV Jetta 2.0, intake tube acquired without that big stupid thing, so that's done. I'm gonna FaceTime Greg real quick, show him everything I got, make sure I have everything I need, and then I'm gonna be out of here. All right, so very, very good news. Got the phone with Greg. I have everything I need, all of my stuff here off this lovely 2004. Everything I need, so it's going to be really good. This is the newest year of the Mark IV, so I'm really excited to have such new parts on my nice little 93. I have to go to the parts store to get um, some 16-gauge wire to extend my ECU from the, not my ECU, my MAF sensor from this side where the Mark III's are to that side where it's going to be. I have to get a freeze plug to block up a hole in the bottom, and I have to get... One more thing, I can't remember. What is it, what is it, what is it? Oh, and I need O-rings for the Mark III injectors. I probably could use the Mark IV injectors, but since this one is so much newer, the one out of Greg's car is from a 2000, and in 2000, 2004, the injectors and the fuel rail and stuff is different. So I can't use these injectors, not a big deal. I'm gonna get new O-rings from mine, swap those into this lower intake manifold, and we'll be good to go. And also, it didn't rain one bit since I've been here. Like, it's been dark this entire time, so it hasn't been hot. I've been in the shade most of the time, and there's been no rain. So Florida has been on my side for today. All right, made it back home. It is raining a little bit right now, but hopefully it clears up pretty soon. That way I can get this stuff painted tonight. But I'm gonna show you everything I got from the auto parts store, and I'm gonna show you everything that I got. This will be like part one of a two-part series. So today, I'll show you all the stuff you need for it. Um, I'm gonna get it painted and prepped for tomorrow. Tomorrow, Greg's gonna come over, and we're gonna get everything swapped into my car. All that stuff will be in in one day. So it'll be part one will be today, basically, what you need and how to get it all out, and part two will be installing it into your Mark III. All right, so let me quickly show you everything you'll need to do the Mark IV intake manifold swap onto your Mark III. Um, you'll need the upper intake manifold and the lower intake manifold. Also grab the gasket between them unless you wanna buy a new one, you can do that as well. The bracket here and here to hold on your engine cover. You'll need the valve cover along with the valve cover gasket. You'll need and the intake portion. You can either get the Mark the 2.0 Beetle one or the 2.0 Jetta one. The only difference is the Jetta one doesn't have the little extra little piping piece that the Beetle one has, so I got this one because it's a little bit cleaner. Engine cover, if you so choose, you don't have to have the engine cover, but I want it for the look that I want. So engine cover, and then other things you'll need over here, you'll need some, this is 18 gauge wire, you'll need some wire to run the MAF sensor, extend it from this side to that side because the intake will be on that side now versus over here. So that's wire for that. I got this little air filter here to go there for that one. You don't need that, you can just plug it, but I think that looks a little bit cooler. I got a half inch plug for a piece on the block that you have to plug. I'm not sure where, but Greg said I need it, so I got that. I got a set of new O-rings for my injectors because when you pull the injectors out, um, sometimes the O-rings get messed up. So new, uh, new O-rings for my injectors to go with all this stuff. And then I got, this is low gloss black paint, so I'm gonna paint this, that, and that all um, semi-gloss black, so it's much cleaner, that's what I want. And then I got this trim bumper paint to do um, the engine cover here. So everything's gonna look nice and new as best as possible, and it's gonna really clean up the engine bay, give me a lot of open space up over here, and just make it look all together cleaner. Now, you will have to get a pod filter to go on the end of this or if you really get crazy you can run it down this side and over and there's a thing a mod you can do where you drill a hole inside of this this air filter here block off that side and it goes back over to here i don't want that because i want this side to be open so i'm gonna have a pod filter over there but overall that i believe is all you need to do the mark IV intake manifolds swap and of course you need a card, a donor card to get it all off of. Now there's a couple of reasons why people do the Mark IV intake manifold uh, swap on their car. One, it does, it cleans up this side. It takes all that air box stuff, gets rid of it and moves your intake to that side. So all this will now be nice and open, cleans it up a lot. Also it gives you better airflow, I am told. So that's also a plus. And you can run this cool engine cover now as well. Just gives it a little bit more of an up to date look. Just something cheap and kind of easy you can do. Just kind of update the look of your engine bay.
All right, it's been a little while. It stopped raining enough. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, ender cover texture painted. Oh yeah, texture painted here. Got the logo and the other logo taped off. I thought they popped out when they do, but you had to tape them back in or glue them back in. I didn't like do that, so I just taped around them. Pretty simple to do. So get this looking perfect in OEM. Then I'll be on to painting the valve cover and the upper and lower intake manifold. All right, so the engine cover is looking fantastic. Got four coats so far of the texture paint. Larry's actually back. He is right there. Hey. We're in the process of assembling wheels. As you can see here, first one's all together. We All we have to do now is torque down all the bolts all the way around, and then we have to seal it, and then we'll be on number two, three, and four. But we are slowly making progress, and these things look really, really good. I can't wait to see them on that car. All right, so it's about 9 o'clock at night right now. Larry has finished this wheel and will not finish, but they're torqued all the bolts are in and torqued down He still has to put the layer of silicone around and seal them, but two of the four are partially done My ender cover is looking fantastic nice and texture painted I, I'm glad I went with the the chrome 2 and that badge it looks really really good. I got the valve cover first layer of paint over here. It's gonna be semi-gloss black and then I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the lower intake manifold there and upper intake up here and then everything will be painted ready to go all set for tomorrow look at it look at it look at that lineup of stuff all right so at this point everything is prepped and ready to go for tomorrow greg took me over after i get back from church and we're going to knock out all of this he's coming over to help me and make sure i can do this properly um, he knows all the ins and outs of it. He's done it before, as you saw in his golf. So he'll be able to help me do it on here, and I'll be able to tell you guys exactly what we're doing. So if you want to do this swap, you can do it in the best way possible. So it has been a very, very busy day. I'm exhausted, and I'm starving. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.